Hi, good afternoon and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about case approvals and the inbox. This is not a training course, it does not replace any offering from Oracle University, it does not replace reading the bookshelf about inboxes, workflows, persistence, approval template, or discovering workflows by reading the book. Now that said, let's take a walk into Siebel Public Sector 8.2 and look at how we would set up case approvals. In administration case, we're going to go to the case approval template view. In here you'll see that I have created a case template. It has a template object of case and a status as active. There are other templates approvals available for incidents and other things. Notice the combination of different fields, threat type, threat level, category, territory, priority, and so on. Any case created by a user whose fields match the combination of values in this approval template will be eligible to use that template. If I create a case that matches this, the following approvers will be involved. Level 1 will be Mr. Mike Williams and Level 2 will be Chris Woods. The sequence number is important and if, especially if you remove any approvers from a template, make sure the sequence number starts at 1. Otherwise no one will be assigned and nothing will happen. Now I'm going to go to the Inbox Types administration. There is an inbox type called HLS Case Inbox Approval. This inbox type registers the information about how the inbox notifications will be processed. Notice how there is a action called active action field drop-down that will use a workflow process. Notice also that because I'm working in the sample database, there is a need for a local validation action. In my case, I have created a business service according to the documentation in the Siebel bookshelf, any business service used for local validation must have a method providing an output argument called local validation error and it's a yes or no output. This business service is referenced here. Notice how the active field action field dropdown uses a resume instance. It's because the workflow that is driving all of this is a persistent workflow. You can learn more about persistent workflow in the bookshelf. So now let's go and create some cases. I'm going to create two cases and I'm going to name them so that I'll remember them later on. These two cases have exactly the right combination of fields to be able to use the approval template that I showed you earlier. So there are my two records saved. Notice how the fields match the approval template setup. The approval template displays itself in the pop-up. If you can't see it, well, it's because the values don't match the template. I select it, and I will also make sure that I do the same for the second record as well. Now. My two records currently have a status of active. They have an approval template supplied. When I drill down on one of the cases, I'm just going to add a description so that I don't forget which record is which. Thank you for your patience. Notice the submit button. Submit will submit and send a notification to approver number one. I will now repeat the process so that both of my cases are submitted. I can always check the Approvers sub-tab to see who needs to approve. So let's go and log in as the first approver to see whether Mr. Williams has received any notifications. Logging in as Mike Williams, I will go to the inbox and look at my inbox items you will observe two notifications. Notice how there is a drill down on the name of the item. If in your demonstration this doesn't work, make sure that views have been set up in the Inbox Types administration. But I can click on them and I can see the case and I can observe the case, study the values. Notice how there is an action drop-down as referenced in the Inbox Type. When I select an action drop-down, I will trigger the workflow and in this case I have chosen approved notice how it is now read only and the inbox item is marked as completed so there is no further work for me to do at least not logged in as Mr. Williams I rejected the other one 
Now I'm going to log back in as admin and observe what has changed. Back in as admin, both of the records have been now approved by level or have now been processed by level 1. Notice how the rejection has a status of rejected. I'm still able to adjust the priority, the assessments and other fields, so it's quite possible for a user to then resubmit. Notice the recall button. If I click it, it will be removed from the inbox approvers and changed back to a status of active so that I can try again perhaps if I've accidentally submitted it. I'll go to the other one now. Observe the status is active. In both cases, of course, I can check the Approvers tab and see on the status that in this case Mike Williams has approved it. Let's log in as our Level 2 Approver, Chris Woods. Chris Woods logs in and goes to his or her inbox. Notice how there are three notifications specifically one regarding the case that is going to be approved and two because I resubmitted the other case. As before Chris Woods can select an action. Selecting the action will trigger the inbox type administrated workflow. Notice how in both cases the approvers can add comments which will be visible to the original sender so I'm going to leave this message for Sadmin this information will be visible when Sadmin looks in the inbox to see what's been happening. I'm going to go ahead now and reject these two. Notice in passing the button at the top of the page that said approve all a useful shortcut button. So all three items are now completed. Let's log back in as Sadmin and see what's been happening. Back in Sadmin's instance, the inbox in the submitted items has a whole trail of all of the different notifications that I've received regarding this. And you'll see in the history that I'm able to say, oh, okay, so this Mike Williams approved this, this needs to be worked on. Aha, uh -huh, Chris Woods rejected this. Notice the comments on the right hand side. Of course, the start time and date will enable me to work out what the history thread was. Back on my cases, the rejected case is now there. I can see that it was rejected by one of the approvers. And the approved case is now in active status, and I can see that it has been approved by both. So what else do we need to talk about when discussing approval templates and approval inbox? We need to talk about workflow. The PS object approval main process is the persistent workflow responsible for managing how the inbox items are created and how they are then pushed through the approval steps from user 1 to user 2 and so on. They use a variety of business services in this workflow to retrieve data about the item, for example, to retrieve data about the inbox item, what kind of item is it, and who is it submitted by, and what is its row ID, as well as other utilities, for example, to update the approver, to update the status, for example, when I rejected it, including steps like this, get approver, searching through the template to find out is there another approver, if there is no another, no other approver, then we need to finish by disabling the approval feature and then setting the item as completed. If however there is another approver in the approval template we need to make sure that the row is pushed to the new approver in their inbox. You will notice that following this step is a wait step this workflow is persistent. It has to be able to wait until an approver decides to make a move in the inbox. So this wait will wait for a very very long time until, that is, somebody who's an approver changes the inbox item status. 
when the inbox item status is changed, further business service steps will make adjustments to the inbox item, will check to see if it has been approved. If there are further steps, it will then check for further approvers and loop around again. Otherwise, if it's all been rejected, then we will update the item and we will square away our inbox items. More details on this workflow, of course, in the bookshelf. So a summary, we talked about case approvals, approval templates, persistent workflows and inboxes. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a good one. See you soon. Bye-bye.